as an artist and as a woman, I'm interested in the way information is being uh, transformed. In this exhibition, it started from the archive of David Storm Rice, an art historian, a researcher, and the archive was based in the Islam Museum in Jerusalem and was about to be thrown away. And on the base of this archive, and especially on the base of what's missing in this archive, we built this exhibition. So the archive of David Storm Rice is mainly uh, macro images of vessels from medieval time between 12th centuries and the late 14th centuries. What do you see on those macro images are mainly hunting scene, are mainly war scene. What I did with those uh, macro photographs is I refragment them even closer and regendered most of them. So every king became a queen and every warrior became a female warrior or a feminine warrior or a binary warrior. So the information that travels from the original vessels to the gaze of uh, David Storm Rice as a white Western researcher that looking at those vessels uh, and then through my uh, gaze that I refragment and regendered. David Storm Rice archive went and end up with the photomontage that we see around us in this exhibition that are the queens of Queendom and that are presenting a possible manuscript, a possible new way of transmitting history from many layers and from a more feminine perspective. <laughs> For navigating future codes uh, for this museum, I expanded the collaboration with Mason Karaman. She's a Palestinian healer to create a new sound work that is presented here. The codes of this sound work are coming from the future to the present moment and to everyone to listen and to receive codes that will help to grasp, contain and understand this challenging time. So the list of the vessels that we have over this wall are showing all the actors that parts of them, puzzle pieces of them, participated in the panels in the other room, in the Quindom's room. Um, what was important for me to trace, and uh, that was done with few researchers, is to show the provenance, so where those vessels were made in the Middle East, and where are they today exhibited in current, mostly Western collections? So from their provenance to contemporary collections. The connection is held also in the dots here, but also in the blue notes here. So when I refragment something from the original vessels and from the um, David Storm Rice scans, macro scans, what part of a vessel is it? Is it a tray? Is it a pot? Is it an hour? And where is it uh, exhibited or where is it today? In which collection it belongs to? And I would really like to encourage the viewer to make those connections. Es ist die erste Präsentation von Ilit Asulay in Österreich mit einer Einzelausstellung und dieser Dimension und die auch das erste Mal, dass das Projekt Queendom in seiner Gänze zu sehen ist. Also alle Paneele sind zu sehen und auch dies, das fotografische äh, Archiv von Elit Asulay, ihre Forschung, ihre künstlerische Forschung, aber auch die Basis, nämlich das Ursprungsarchiv, äh, 
bekommt man einen Einblick hier im Museum. Das dunkle Blau des Lapis Lazuli Steines assoziiert die Künstlerin mit der Farbe Ultramarin. Ultramarinus steht auch für das Unterbewusstsein und das Unterbewusstsein ist eine sehr, sehr wichtige Komponente im Storytelling innerhalb des Queendom-Projektes.